All Baltimore Ravens got outstanding news today because several key guys that we definitely been missing badly, they returned to practice today. Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley's back at practice after practicing last week with being limited last week. And my expectation and my hope for today was that not only would Ronnie Stanley practice, but he would practice in full. All that limited stuff will be out the window. And guess what we got? Guess, guess what we got? Ronnie Stanley practiced today in full so Ronnie Stanley is back he is all the way back now so that's a beautiful sign for the Baltimore Ravens offensive line that has been struggling and they could get all the help that they could get because we need it badly Rashad Bateman he returned to practice too now I didn't expect Rashad Bateman to be back and I if he did come back I was thinking okay he would be limited but Rashad Bateman said engraving no 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 shut it up you don't know what I'm going through you don't know me you, you, you don't know none of that stuff I got this. And Rashad Bateman not only returned to practice today, but he returned to practice in full. Odell Beckham Jr., who had missed the last couple of games. He left the Bengals game early, and there was a little foul play. They had slammed him down on the ground. I think the, the, the Bengals, they took it personally with Odell Beckham Jr. because they didn't forget about his comments, his back and forth with Tyler Boyd when Odell Beckham Jr. pretty much shut Tyler Boyd down. But anyway, Odell Beckham Jr., he returned to practice today too. Now, he was limited, but... You got to start somewhere. So the fact that he is practicing, we making progress. But then there was Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey, who has not played a single game this year yet. Marlon Humphrey returned to practice today. And he was limited, but he was back. So this is a good sign moving forward for Marlon Humphrey that he should definitely be back on that football field really soon. Now, with him being limited today, and him not having played a game at all this year, and him not really having practiced at all this regular season, I cannot be, I cannot realistically expect him to play in this Steelers game. Not after a limited practice Wednesday, and even if he practices on full on Thursday and on full on Friday, even though Friday's more of a walkthrough, but I, I cannot expect him to practice. I mean, excuse me, I can't expect him to play in this game against Pittsburgh, and, and I won't. And I, I don't think anybody should at all. But the following week, yeah, but this week, nah, it, it ain't looking like it to me. But We'll see. But the fact that Marlon Humphrey is back again, this bodes well for the future. And the secondary, the secondary has been a pleasant surprise at the Baltimore Ravens because while we all went into this season scared for our secondary, especially uh, when it said that it was said that Marlon Humphrey was out. Then Rocky Sin got hurt and then they, they signed Ronald Darby and then Jalen Alma Davis got hurt. Pepe Williams was hurt. Arthur Millette got hurt. A lot of people got hurt throughout. Uh, but most of them came back. Not all of them are back yet, but most of them came back. But we were worried about the secondary. I know I sure was. But they have been amazing. They have been doing a phenomenal job. And like, let's really give it up for the secondary because they've been doing their thing. So shout out to all of them. Jalen Armour Davis, speaking about the secondary, he was back as well. I ain't heard nothing about Jalen Armour Davis in a little while, but he was practicing today too. So that was a beautiful thing. Now, uh, when it comes to a lot of the guys being back, especially Odell Beckham Jr. and Rashad Bateman, uh, Lamar Jackson, he said it best in his part of the presser today. He talked about how having both of those guys out there, that gives him even more options. And having more options at pa as pass catchers is a beautiful thing because it makes his job easier. But he did say it's a, a downside to it. And I got to put quotation marks on the downside because it's not really a bad thing. It's just a thing. He talked about how it's hard because all those guys want the ball, and it's only one ball to go around. But he did say it's a good problem to have, and that's something that we talked about this offseason when the Ravens kept adding, adding, adding. There were people that was like, no, we need to take away, take away, take away. And I'm like, no, man, it is a good problem to have. because th This is a problem that the Baltimore Ravens never have, where you have too many mouths to feed uh, at pass catchers. So the fact that they do right now, hey. Let it let, let, let it be. Let, let it be. It's even some people I've seen some people like, especially over last week, talking about the possibility of trading Rashad. And man, I, mm, no, no. Why would you? We we'll talk about that later. But anyway, getting those guys back is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, um, Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell, he started practicing today as well. And we know what Keaton Mitchell, man, in that preseason, he was looking good. It was like, oh, please, he got to make this roster. And then he made the roster, but then the Ravens put him on injury reserve. So he had to miss the first uh, four games. But now that's done. And he started his 21-day window of practice to where he has to be activated on a, the regular roster over the next 21 days. Now, um, I think, depending on Justice Hill, because that could be sooner or later, because Justice Hill, he was practicing today, but he's limited. He's been dealing with this toe-foot injury that he got going on. Now, I wonder, 
because he, he looked good when he did play this past Sunday, but I wonder if they would think about sitting Justice Hill for a week just so he could get right, get all the way right, because it seems like to me, it seems like this thing has been getting re-aggravated. When he plays, it gets re-aggravated. He obviously missed the Colts game, I believe, uh, but did play in this last game against the Browns, uh, but now with him being limited on the practice report, at least the first practice report of this week, uh, that's not a good sign, but that's what I was thinking. I'm just thinking out loud. So I wonder if they could activate Keaton Mitchell and then just sit Justice Hill for a week, let Keaton Mitchell do the Justice Hill stuff, see how that goes. But, that, again, that's that's just me uh, spitballing. Um, now, along with the good news, we got to get some bad news as well. And there were some guys who were not practicing. Morgan Moses, who left the Browns game the other day with a shoulder injury, uh, he is still not practicing. We do not know the status of Morgan Moses. Uh, with big day tomorrow. Tomorrow would really be the indication like, all right, is Morgan Moses going to go or are they gonna be, uh, is it going to be Pat McCary at right tackle to be determined? Uh, Adafi Away, who injury status up in the air, who knows what it is, who knows what's going on. I got no clue, but Adafi Away, he still didn't practice. And then uh, safety, Daryl Worley, he didn't practice. I know Jeff Zrebick talked about after the game that Daryl Worley was a little banged up uh, and that he expected the Ravens to make some moves uh, at the safety position. Which they haven't yet. They did lose Deron Harmon to the Bears because uh, they signed him off the Ravens practice squad. Uh, but yeah, Ravens haven't really done anything. Oh no, they did bring in uh, DeAndre Houston Carlson. So they brought him. So okay, so they did make a move at safety then because he can play corner, he can play safety. So I guess they feel like they got it covered. Now um, with Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen, he had a presser today. Uh, it was Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, and Patrick Queen. One of the things Mark Andrews continued to talk about was being uh, having elite focus. And I was like, oh, I never heard that term like that before, elite focus. It's probably because I ain't got it. Uh, but Patrick Queen, um, a part of the presser that really stuck out to me was when he talked about Mike Tomlin. He talked about his rookie year. He said Mike Tomlin, he was over on the Steelers sideline. I guess maybe he made a play or something over there. Something was going on over there. You know how the players, when they tackle somebody out of bounds or whatnot, you can go over there. You could be close to the sideline. But anyway. He said he was over by the Steelers' sideline. He said Mike Tomlin was yelling at him and saying that you ain't one of them. You, 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 you're not a Raven. You don't belong there. You don't belong uh, as a Raven. You ain't one of them. And Patrick Queen, he said that that, that stuck with him. And he said Mike Tomlin told him, you're not supposed to be there. And I was like, ooh. And he said that uh, he didn't even know or even care if Mike Tomlin was serious or if he was joking. But he said he felt like it was disrespectful. Now, me, I'm thinking, like, maybe Mike Tomlin was just jealous. Maybe Mike Tomlin wanted to really draft you because Steelers, if Steelers would have got a hold of Patrick Queen, oh, they would have done, done some things with him. Uh, he would have been nice over there, too. Uh, we glad that he's with the Baltimore Ravens and he's doing his thing with the Baltimore Ravens, but had he went to the Steelers, he would have been nice over there as well. So maybe that's why Mike Tomlin was saying that. Maybe he was saying, you don't belong over there because you belong in Pittsburgh. But Patrick Queen, he let it be known that he didn't like that. And the way that Patrick Queen was speaking when he spoke about that, you could tell it really bothered him. Now, with that being said, it's tricky because I appreciated Patrick Queen's honesty. I appreciated him putting that out there, saying it. But at the same time, you just gave them even more ammo to say even more because they know and they knew they know that that got to you back then. They know like, all right, we said this to Patrick Queen and he thinking about it three years later. Oh, watch what we got to say to him now. So if I'm Patrick Queen, I, I probably would have kept that to myself. But at the same time, maybe he's in a different state of mind now. Maybe he's a, he's a completely different player with a completely different mental process because maybe he's like, yeah, I'll say I'll put it out there that that bothered me back then. But the way that I am now, like that, I ain't stunting that. That don't phase me no more. So hopefully that's what Patrick Queen meant by everything. And hopefully that's what Patrick Queen uh, is letting be known by him putting that story out there. Like, hey, yeah, that bothered me back then. I felt like it was dis disrespectful back then, uh, but it always stuck with me. But now uh, it, it is what it is. And he did talk about how it is what it is. He literally said it is what it is. Uh, so shout out to PQ, who has been just playing amazing, man. Him and Roquan Smith has just been, been a beautiful thing to watch. Patrick Queen did bring up an interesting stat, though, and I was like, huh, is that really the, the case? He said the, the Ravens, are, they won in five over the past couple of years to the Steelers? And I was thinking, hold up, is, is that true? Like, I, I, I got to look back at the numbers and look back at the games, but I'm like, oof, that's, if that's the case, yuck. Got to start fixing that. Um, Lamar Jackson talked about how he, I think he said he only played against the Steelers like three times, um, and he said he don't know what it is about them Steelers where they, uh, they be messing them up, man. He does not have his best games against the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he also talks about, hey, we're going to see this Sunday. And, yeah, we will see this Sunday. We're looking forward to seeing it uh, this Sunday. Kenny Pickett, uh, speaking of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Kenny Pickett, uh, he did practice today. He was limited in practice, 
but he did practice today. Uh, so with Kenny Pickett, uh, it is looking like he is going to play uh, this Sunday against the Baltimore Ravens. It's been sort of this whole mix and match, and who knows if he's going to play or not uh, throughout this week thus far, uh, especially when he left the game last week with, I think it was a knee injury. But Kenny Pickett is supposed to be in right now, uh, but that's the exact opposite of the end of the video because we out.